I don't like a pie that's mush. It's got to really have like a bite in there. It really, when you eat it, it's kind of you're also getting crisp apples out of it. So it's like eating an, an apple when you're eating a pie. So, I mean, people come to me and they're like, well, Dave, why is your pie so good? Why are your apples so good? And I always tell them, you know, you have to use more than one kind of apple. You have to use at least three kinds of apples. And people like don't understand that. They're used to going and making apple pie with like, they go get a five pound, you know, bag of apples at the supermarket and they slice it up and cut it up and put it in a pie. And they're like, well, Dave, yours is so much better. I think it's so much better because I source locally and I cook at a really high temperature for a really short period of time so that the apples retain um, their shape and their texture and they're still crisp. A lot of times I'll come up here and I'll just say, you know, give me a mixed bushel and just throw in anything you got in there. It's been in our family 184 years, since 1828. My in-laws in the 1920s and 30s started it as an apple orchard. Now we grow 35 varieties of apples. Heritage apple, the arrow apples that grew here, you know, in the 1800s, um, you know, and just, they're just so delicious. We have Burgundies, Tidemans, Jersey Max, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious. I think the, the biggest secret is you don't have to add, you don't have to bury it in sugar, in so much sugar that all you're tasting is sugar because you're getting the natural sweetness of the apple. We have Macintosh, Cortland's, Macau's. Everybody makes pies with with Granny Smith's, and it's just it's just a one-dimensional pie, but the, the more apples you can get, the better. Mutsus, Jonagol's. I get excited when I see like, you know, oh, we've got, you know, honey crisps, or we have like this year, the Mutsus are like freaking gigantic. Fuji's, Cameos, Nittany's, Empire. a brain freeze. Okay.